Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another video. Here's a phone that is not mine and it's faulty. I'm going to show you what it does. So, uh, it does somewhat work, but there's no picture. I'm going to show you real quick. Got a charger here. I'm going to plug it in. And yeah. So, this tells me that either the LCD is busted or it's not making proper connection with the main board and granted this thing has been dropped I don't know how many times but uh, this person uh, would raids a lot so I would say many many times so it does actually like turn on and off uh, now that it's charging so that kind of tells me that the logic on it is not dead so Anyway, uh, I'm going to connect it into a PC and see uh, if it picks up. But before I do that, one really, really important step before you repair anybody's phone, really, is alcohol and paper. So I'm going to start off by doing uh, what I should have done before I even started the video. For obvious reasons. Okay. Also, do not forget the other side. The other side could be even nastier. So. Should be good. Um, I could do the inside as well. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on, okay it vibrated so that tells me that at least uh, the, the main board is still working. So I'm going to wait until this actually starts and we'll resume right after that. If it does anything at all, I'm going to connect it to my computer and we'll see if it does anything. I plugged it in. It vibrated and yep it's picked up by the computer you can access the files and whatnot um, but it's not showing anything on the screen clearly so looks like I'm gonna have to open it up and take a look inside of the board to see if I can in fact revive it or not it's doing this uh, it tells me that could be some sort of bad connection uh, inside so yeah as you can see I pressed on it and it turned white anyway I'm gonna uh, take it apart and see so what do I see first things first is that the screws right here are not uh, really tight they have actually came loose uh, like if I put my screwdriver here as you can see it moves freely whereas the other screws they don't move they don't move freely you have to actually like put some pressure but these ones not so much as you can see So, this is probably...
probably the LCD connector. And this is for uh, the stuff down there. Okay. I'm going to undo this uh, uh, connector, which is for the buttons. And yeah, I'm going to try to inspect the board for any obvious damage. Um, so, what I said before about this phone being dropped too much, here's some evidence of that. Uh, okay, a crack on the PCB. Uh, though I don't know how this will affect the screen, but... So, I bet this is the LCD connector. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna pull out the label uh, to take a look underneath. <laughs> So the cable seems to be okay. Uh, so what I would do is put like a piece of paper underneath the connector, put it back together and see if it shows anything on the screen. So I am back, got a piece of paper and some white tape, or uh, actually it's transparent tape. Um, and I'm gonna pull the connector back Okay, and I'm going to put this piece of paper right here, and the tape on top to make sure it stays there. Uh, actually, I'm going to have to cut it with scissors, so BRB. Okay, I am actually back. Here's the piece of paper. I can put it on there. It actually fits exact, almost exactly. So uh, I'm gonna cut this now into half. Um, then I'm just gonna try to put it down there, kind of like this, and then put the connector back. Now I'm going to reassemble the phone. And there we go. The phone is actually starting up. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, that was a pretty, pretty, like, I would say, <clears throat> kind of an easy fix, for me at least. And, you know, I'm kind of happy that it worked. The phone, as you can see, does work, although I don't have the password for it. Uh, yeah. But it does seem to work. I'm kind of silly and I forgot to put it back together, but I'm gonna do that real quick. So <clears throat> thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.